to the concept of the Social media. <coughs> yeah, eh? No, see, no entrepreneur can actually work without social media. That's your first line of getting out there. And that's the thing. You can't you can't there's no way you can work but without it. But some people argue otherwise though. Yeah. Then there are, there are, don't want like, then they will probably be like yellow taxi to Uber. A cake. I don't think I I I look at disagree. Why? Because as your friend. I just feel because some people, some young businesses have come to tell me that, oh, I've been on social media, mm -hmm. I've not gotten anywhere. Then they, they don't they don't know how to market. Okay, so what I is it, but to them, posting on social media was marketing. No, it's mm -hmm. not just posting anything. You have to see what people like and actually like throw it out. No, sorry, in hold on. Please, please. No, bro. I think you should answer this I question. That door. You said that. I, I want to say, I want to say no, two that. different, I want to say two different things where I feel, I, I kind of feel like, I feel like social media is key. But I also think that people need to understand if their business needs to be on social media Preach. first. You know, like, so the reason I, like, someone like Didos would be like, he, he people just want to have payment. He doesn't necessarily need to have like a huge presence on social media for him to be able to market to the banks and different people he's talking to, right? Now, but Richard, but what Richard is saying is also like, for someone like me, uh, when, I, when I started Star Vite, I knew it was going to be successful because I've already done 360 nubs, I've already done the hustle. That's you too. And <laughs> <laughs> I've already done the hustles and, and, I, and I found out there was a shortcut to getting what I wanted to get. I know what Nigerians were looking for. And let me give you, let me give you a simple example right now, even though I'm not doing it. If you want to be, have, a lot of traffic on your Twitter page or whatever, post African prints like Ankara and whatnot. People come there to copy styles. So if what you're looking for is like is a shortcut, then that's what you do. But if you really want people to believe in fashion or what, what you have to do, like if you, for people to respect you in fashion, that's what I think personally, you need to do something they've always thought is not possible. So it, people can be like, oh my God, oh, that first time Noble wore suits and sneakers. I never thought anybody could do that. Mm -hmm. or maybe Noble wore uh, sneakers. And um, I wouldn't wear sneakers and Abada, but I wear sneakers <laughs> and Danshiki because it's a lot more easy for you to take in. Now, coming to you. What about the short sneaker? Uh, <laughs> yeah, wearing, wearing short, like, you know, that's a wearing, wearing short, like, you know, so I have, I have, I have a bit of bow legs and people always be like, I like bow legs. So like, you know, I kind of sell. So bow legs if, 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 first of all, first yeah. of all, like, no shade or anything, but there was a time that, you know, people took a lot of, there was a whole website committed to, you know, taking you down pretty much. See, so how have you, how do you, how do you, how do you, I know it did, me, but how do you now, like, it, it's amazing to me now that, when You've gone from smoke. being taken down to now almost being a star. No, but, but, to me, being a star. Like, but, but, but the thing is this. This is what I say. People have where they're going to and where they want to get to. Let me give you a personal example, right? So last night, I went for a photo shoot and I came back. And my wife was like, that the Shadella did ball. And she says that you're owing her. Oh, okay. This one? Yes. Okay. That the Shadella did ball. And she says that you're owing her. Uh -huh. So I'm like, I'm owing her. I mean, anybody could oh. And I wouldn't be like, I have, you know, so I was like, what did I even do? Should I let it go? So then I remember there was a time three season those bought ticket for a trip. And I was thinking like my office people have paid for that trip, right? So there are two things to do. The other thing will go on, to go on social media and be like, oh, but we have paid for this ticket or whatnot. The other thing would be like to call Shadda and say, sorry, we have not paid for this. How much is it? And I was like, so she was like, it's 36,000. Another person would be like, so are you putting me out there on social media because of 36,000 naira? Another person would be like, can I have your account number? So what person were you? Can I have your account number? And I started, and I said to her, and I said to her, sorry that this money stayed this long. Uh, wait, uh, and that same thing, I had the same problem even this morning. That's what I, 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 I lost it to the person. No, but, no, but that's what I'm saying, but it cannot, because the expectation is that you will lose it. But no, if you but know where you're going to, this is what, this, 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 what I did, I, I sent that message to him, because the last time I saw her was about a week ago in his house. We all had a drink. And it was very communal. And she didn't, so mention, and she didn't mention it to me. But the thing is, like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh my God, she cost me out. She put me on social media. Yeah. And she's about to be like, listen, man. And I'll, I, I'll, I thought I was really crisis management. That's what I'm saying. Crisis management, that's a, crisis exactly. management is yeah. you. Control. You have to always remember to go to Kemakemwa on these people. <laughs> Get to that. Because I'm trying to say, you have to remember to go that's two faced on these people. And let me explain to you when people said the two faced had 60 children, he never said anything. So you can only see from one person's point of view, from your own point of view, or what you think it is. So that would have dragged another person down, because the person would be like, oh my god, no, I didn't really sleep with this person. Uh, this person slept uh, first herself on me, or whatever. But it, it, like, the worst people say, oh, Tokamaki was husband, this, whatever, whatever. But she didn't do anything, she wrote her book. 
So at some point in life, you also have to remember to, to be, if you're in the wrong by owing somebody thinkable, or if you're in the wrong in the sense that a person feels like you can call you out on social media, if, if you keep having the small fight that you don't think you ever win, people always have your own side of the story. Mm. But what you do is, listen, I'm sorry, 36,000? It was actually 36,000, 900 and something, something. Like I mentioned, that the, I told that to send my invoice. No, I paid every single thing to the last decimal. And, 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 and it's not even like a fight. I don't, like, I'm not going to say it. Like, so when it comes to website, putting up your pictures, doing different things, even when I said to no believe one of the biggest stories was the uh, Rita Dominic saying to me that when, like, you know, so let me tell you the story. So at some point, you know how if you own a business, the people have to use their handle to publish the story because you have like a huge following. Mm -hmm. So my people wrote about Lin, uh, Rita Dominic losing her Glow endorsement. And they ran with the story and like, you know, Glow, whatever, whatever, chases some things. And Rita, Rita came on, on Twitter and be like, um, she'll wait for me until I become a star for me Jeez. to be, is it? No. Wow. No, but, no, listen, you need, to, you need to learn some of this things. Yeah. So I'd be silly if I come on social media and be like, I didn't write this story. It was Bjordan that wrote this story. This is Bjordan handle, insults him. I came on social media and I'm like, I'm sorry that we did this. It was not personal. And as a team, and for some people that I work with, I take full responsible. And I'm sorry about it. So if you read that story, that's the only angle you see from my own path. Now, let me tell you another story about taking people down when you talk about, like, you know, at some point, Amy Collins had a website uh, where he was always trashing people. Uh, mm. And everybody kept quiet. Cool, like, I didn't like it. <laughs> and at some yeah, point, I probably. spoke up and I said, I said, I said Amy Collins, you're going to cuss out every single person that you wouldn't have anyone to say good morning to in the future. But you know what he did? He said that I bought a shirt from him and I gave him a check and he went to the bank that the check bounced. I went to my bank, I got the, the, the printout for the account for like maybe so many years, and I took a picture of the path where he checked, where he, he collected the check, and I emailed it to him personally. He didn't take down his story. Couple of months later, he wrote another <laughs> story to say that Nubli Gwe is a real way, because when everybody didn't call him out on his bullshit, I did call him out. So the thing is, if you're going to be on social media, people are going to say things about you. Some of them true, some of them lie. But even if people who you think you respect, even people who you think are your friends. But you cannot, you cannot, you will never continue to fight the little things. You have to always see the bigger picture. I'm a lot more concerned with people who give you the big check. Talking about the big check, when I, like, no one sit back and say, oh, who gives you the money? When you're talking about, oh, going to Eric or going to this person or going to this person to give you a flight ticket or whatnot. I tell people that I can travel anywhere I want to go to and I will have a company pay for it. And because it is my belief and it has always worked for me. So I'm not in the business of trying to, oh, like, you know, I'm trying to get all the businesses, I'm trying to be there. I don't want to be at any event. I don't even care about going to events anymore because people are going to put it and say, no, believe me, Talo Dinsi, we are all at the opening of this envelope. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be that person. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? I don't want to be that person anymore. So, but the thing is, social media is going to be what it is. And, and you have to agree that people, have every reason not to like you. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That they, they want you alive, or they say to me, oh, he has the Igbo accent. I said, I should be proud of it. Do you get what I'm where trying to say? From? Where, where are you from? Yeah. Yeah. You get, so, but the thing is, you have to remember that the fights, when you talk about competition, the competition is with you mm. and within you. Well, you People say to me, oh my God, I didn't know you were going to have a, a, a big wedding like this. Oh, I didn't know you could afford such a wedding. It was my wedding, and I knew it was going to be how I wanted it to be. Do you understand? But I also pray to God that please let me not go to somebody to come and sponsor this wedding. <laughs> no, it's the truth. But you need to be, at every point in time, do things for yourself. At every point in time, know that you cannot always get it. When people say to me, like when they put, put, put articles about me, I don't read the comments anymore. I don't, think, I don't think people, I, I mean, like I said, that was like back in the No, 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 what, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, some people, so listen, 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 even, even when you post this video, some people are still going to leave comments about all of us somewhere. So, but the problem is if you spend your time reading that, I don't anymore. So in terms of, so social media sometimes make you expose a whole lot of things they shouldn't expose in the first place. Do you get what I'm saying? But you, you need to know to say, 
if their business requires you to be on social media, be on social media, there's also something called overexposure. Mm, yeah. So you also need to know what very, to put very, something so that's in. What I was going to ask. So is there still like a, are we saying that there's a science to this? Are we saying that even as a young entrepreneur, as a young hustler, if you are yes. trying to get your face out there, you have to be very, I tell, it's just that I'm experienced now and I think it's all making sense with what you're saying. You have to be very deliberate because those are themes I've been getting from our discussions as well. Talk very about. deliberate, very calculated about what you're going to... It may look unplanned, but you've planned it at the same time. Because first of all, you, like you said, you need to determine, does my business need social media or not? Exactly. Or do you just need a social media page just as a small landing pad, but that's not really your main you know, runway, so I, I, to speak. I, 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 you can't also, sorry, you can't also get involved... Like, I see a lot of young people, people like us, get involved in topics that have nothing to do with them. Like, for instance, somebody says, this is somebody's father, ah, this man slept with this man, ah, he's a father. What's you will now be like, oh my God, kill him. You didn't know that all the people that are following you have seen your father in different brothels. <laughs> but you get what I'm trying to still have an opinion where you haven't even fixed your own house. So, if, even for business owners, I also think you, you should also be careful or want to jump, like Twitter these days is jump and pass. Like you just sign in, they'll be like, this is what they're discussing about women and time rapper. I'm like, ah, no. I think, I think, I think um, the thing is, you know, social media, I think helps, even if your business is not selling on social media, social media helps to create a perception. So mm. I don't do business, I, I, don't, I, I, I don't do any real business to consumer business, right? Yeah. It's business to business, yeah. business. mostly. Um, but I like people to work for us. You understand? I like people to have an impression of the type of things we do. You know, because in addition to competition for customers, there are competition for staff. You, know, you understand what I mean? And if people cannot feel, there's no pulse. They can't really know until they come into, into your, your office building. You understand what I mean? But they should be able to, there should be some type of pulse. If not about the company itself, but about the key leader, le leadership of, yeah. the, of, the, of, the, of the company. You know, and, and what I see, and you know, we're gonna, we use the word you know, young people, I like to think I'm still young. You know, but, but what I see is that um, people go on social media, right, or in the virtual space, to do and say things that they can never do or say yeah. in real life. Yeah. Mm. Like, for me, if I cannot tell you something to your face, I, I'm not gonna, you know, because I'm typing on my phone, you know, my, my, my fingers are a representation of what's going on in my head and in my, in my heart. And what should come out of my mouth, it's just that I'm typing it. So I can't, it's difficult for me, and that's why, you know, I kind of like restrict social media, you know, because I don't want to ever one day think that I should be as free as what everybody else, you know, does on it, wherein I start to say things and do things on social media that I know I would never be able to do in my, in my, in my real life. You know the thing is, I, I notice a lot of people put out more personal than brand. And that's the thing. Um, a lot of businesses or people who go online tend to use themselves as an individual driving tool. And this is very bad for business because if you're selling a brand, there's longevity. If you sell yourself instead of your brand, mm -hmm. you have a very short lifespan for that business. So if all I put is me and chicks and hanging out and oh the girls are here, the girls are here, all you do is you come there because of me and these girls. But if I say to you, Escape is doing this, we are doing this, we are doing this. So pretty much brand direction, strategy and marketing, very, very key. Even on Instagram, you know something you just don't wake up and just oh is it and just some people post without even thinking. And the thing is you have to do a lot of control and you have to learn how to put your emotions outside your business. People put a lot of emotions into what they post. Mm. And when you put your emotions out, you give people the ability to come in. When you don't, and all you do is just see his business, you cannot, you can speak bad about the business, the business will reply you. For me, um, social media is still new, it's emerging, um, it's dynamic, it's changing every day. Um, even brands don't really understand it. They know they want to be in the space, they don't know why. Um, in the last about six years, a lot of brands are stepping into social media. They started using voices. So that's why they use influencers because nobody wants to follow a Virgin Nigeria, for example, but they will follow a noble to see, to experience the brand. Um, now, because of things like sponsored posts and all that, brands can jump that hurdle and go direct. But in terms of, I think personally, I think social media is what you make of it. Um, it's a platform where you can sell a perception 
You can sell personal, you can sell, you can pretty much sell anything. Like. For me. A question I wanted to ask, sorry to cut you yeah. off, but isn't that because you said that um, sometimes people go via personal and then they shouldn't. But then Tola has a, a, a media company, Tola has the Umila deal, yeah. and but then he's using the personal to promote what he's capable of. You know, if you notice this, read his caption. Yeah, for me, I, I, I'm yeah, to be honest. His caption is not hanging out with Jay Z. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, but, but it's not even. It, you could even use the caption as hanging, like, hanging out with Jay Z, right? But the thing is, is your your intention, yeah. right? If you, yeah, so if, you restrict, if you restrict, if you restrict, yeah, if you restrict your 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 intention to the mundane, or to you know, it's like something that is classic, right? If you, if, you, if you did it in 1960, it's cool in 2017. You understand what I'm getting at? However, if, you, if, you're, if, you're, so, if, you're, if you're if you're very, very restrictive to the time, to the moment, you understand what I mean? Like, like you mentioned, a guy now with, you know, bikini chicks. Hey, what's up, what's up, see me here. It's in the moment. Yeah. You understand what I mean? When you're, when, exactly, when you're 80 years old, you're not going to look back on it. Do you, do you understand what I'm getting at? But there's something you can do in a certain space Right with say Jay Z, or even you could be at a fashion shoot with lingerie, lingerie models for a big brand, right? That would still be relevant many years later. It just depends on how you represent your how you 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 represent it. So even if your company changes, right? You as a person is expressed. Your personal brand is expressed a, cert, a certain way. So take out the company X, replace it with company Y. It doesn't change the person that you are. Yeah, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? So people who react like that on social media or rather act like that on, show, on social media, it's very, very difficult to take them and their company down. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. But let, let, me, let, me, let me ask you this. For instance, we know what Tola does. Do you know any other person apart from Tola? In, on this table in or? His in, in his business. In his like his in office. The, in his office. Um, I don't know his company, that, yeah, per se, yeah. but... Okay, but I'm trying to make you understand mm. something. For instance, apart from Noble, I know two or three people that work in his office. Yeah. And that's the thing. Um, I, I, I tend to shy away from... So every Christmas, I have a, a staff picture where all my staff sit down and we put out a picture. We are escape. This is what we do. Because the aim is to not sell myself. Of course. No, wait, wait, let, me, let me just jump in there. Mm -hmm. Because for me... My social media is my personal space. Mm -hmm. My company has its own social, social media. media. And when I want to push my company, I pinpoint the location. Mm -hmm. So if, you, if I'm in the office and you see Urban yeah, Vision, yeah, yeah. and you click Urban Vision, you see what we're about. Mm -hmm. So for the fact that you don't see it means you're not even looking for it. Mm -hmm. So like I said, my social media is very specific. Yeah. Hold up on all these social media. Social media is good. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. How about we Jay Z? All that is irrelevant. <laughs> like, like what I'm saying. <laughs> no, for me, as yes, in. You have Jay Z's personal number. <laughs> we have a joint venture with it. You have Jay Z's personal number. Do you text okay. Jay Z? Text him. <laughs> if he wants to steal your phone, <laughs> can you call Jay Z? <laughs> <laughs> so, I want to move a bit from social media. What I'm thinking, let's go back. I think we're mixed. Wait, wait, I think we need to be specific with the social media because it's important for the viewers. I think if social media is relevant for your business, you use it. It's a simple thing. And the social media, some people, some pages are just jokes. Some pages are poems. Depending on, do you understand? So we also ha have to understand social media. Don't forget, social media itself is still brand new. It's a disruption that's yeah, going on. True. Brands are sitting every day, cutting TV budgets and facing... That's the thing, you don't know. Right now, the platforms that are available, there's Instagram, there's so and so, but the truth is new platforms are being developed. Yeah. So it's an emerging disruption. Yeah. So for someone to sit down here and think they understand it, we're deceiving ourselves. The truth is, how do you want to use it? You know, you have to be specific about how you use it. Do you understand? It's a marketing tool, it's a branding tool. It's, it's emerging, right, and it's evolving, but I know there is technology, just because I'm in that space, mm -hmm. that analyzes the words, artificial intelligence. So the words you use, the words that are used in comment sections, right, or are used to, um, they're, 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 yes, they're used to analyze. Am I good? Have you I have not checked. <laughs> <laughs> they're used to analyze positivity. So right now, nobody cares because it's 1.5 million, you know, comments or, or 2 million soon. comments. But very soon, they're going to know that. Well, I want, yeah, I, I want, 
I want, right I, I rather want 50,000 comments and 50,000 of them are positive about my brand than 1.5 million people have seen something, but only, negative. you know, uh, most of it is, 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 is negative, yeah. you know. So, I mean, that's not to but, say. Uh, can, I, can I equally say this? I, I remember growing up, our parents would want to travel and say, don't tell anybody I'm traveling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's now that we fully understand what it is. And this is pretty much bad vibes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say this very, very clearly. Bad vibes. It's not like I see they'll come at you and do something bad to you. But if a couple of people have not good intentions about you, it tends to limit you in a very funny way. It tends to stop you from getting to your true. So the parents say, oh, I'm traveling. Don't tell anybody. Keep it. And that, well, that's pretty much why I have hidden away as much as I am out there to not put my house or my car or things out there that will make people see me as a show off or as somebody who wants to just oppress. Because as much as it's a marketing tool, it's a tool for oppression. It's a tool for victimization. It's a tool to make people feel like they, as in there, you can never make it. If there was social media when we were growing up, we wouldn't be here. Well, like what we voters have said today. I think it's how people it's see it. How you see it. Can I say this? It's how you see it and let's, how you use no, it. No, but let's look but at it. Do you think people like that, that, do you think that people, because it's so weird that I, I see both sides. Both sides. Yeah, but what's the ratio? No, but do you, you, like, like, you think you have people that are really intimidated by using? Because I feel like you. They, Ninety they, they, percent. You know, you, but no, it seems like you're intimidated by social media. Oh, my, my father, father, my father no, is no, intimidated no. by social media. No, no, no. You media. know what? I'm not intimidated. I would rather believe I can inspire people on social media. I'm intimidated. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So now, wait a minute. For this whole thing they were saying, right? Look at my page. Look at Simply Green page. You will never go on Simply Green page. I see Shola Dabaja. The owner of Simply Green, mm -hmm. you know, because I want to. But there's nothing to... wrong with that. I know, I know, oh, I, know, no, I, know no. I know. Wait a minute. Like as in, boy, if you go on my personal page, you see Shola Dadaja, the owner of Simply Green. But what I put on my on my page is me actually doing the physical work, showing people that okay, yes, this is what we're doing, this is what we're doing. But this is the guy behind this whole thing. This is the hard work we do to get there. But that's inspiration. People nowadays want to sell themselves as the business. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, so that's, so that's, 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 so that's the difference. That takes us to what he said about emotional and, and yeah. being, being having negativity on your spot. But Richard, if, but Richard if, you, if, you, if you are the business, business. Exactly. it's okay to sell you. Yes. 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 No, but exactly. hold on. Right. What it's business okay. are you selling? Because we are pretty much mentioned. I think that is what you need to. That is where you, wait, sorry, sorry. I think that is what you need to hammer on. I'm in showbiz. You are the, the, the business is show. Yeah, but hold it's, on. Listen, hold on. I, let me let me let me let me tell you a few things. When I met Jay Z, I was in Jamaica. He called to meet me. It's a, it's okay. it's he heard about me. So it's not a, it's not a, so it's not about. <laughs> but he will not hear about me if I'm sitting down in my house doing nothing. It is it is it is everything. He connected the dots and he made sense. Mm. So but basically, what I'm saying is that you actually bring people together. So people need to know you as that factor of bringing. But exactly. So now, sense you put out is what no, made no, him come no, to no, your page. Wait, no, yeah, I'm no, not even talking. I'm, no, wait, wait, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> what I'm trying to say to you is, I'm very specific. If I put a picture with Puff Daddy or whatever. It's because I've met him a couple of times, and I can say, and I can say, and I can say, and I know that okay, the next time I'm going for so so and so meeting, the people have done their background check. It's like okay, he's affiliated to Jay Z. Okay, he knows Puffy. Let's do this. It is it is specific. It's not about the guy that's sitting at home hating. So social media. I don't care about that. Do you understand? Do you understand? I strongly agree with your message. Exactly. But this is the thing. A lot of people use social media for different reasons. And the thing is, a lot of people use it negatively. Yeah. But I'll tell you I'll tell you how question, sorry. Let me just put it. You social media must be very, very important to you, chef friends. Yes. And then I'm talking about even with lighting, colors, yes. game setting, yes. all of those mm -hmm. things. Yes. It's that you can get a lot of business from shows and shows. Yes. So, so now this is that's what I was going to say that it depends on your value system mm. and it, it depends on your value system. For me, for example, no shade to anybody that does this on social media. I will never cross my leg and take a picture that I'm flying business class. I just don't think I should do pepper them gang. But some people on the other That's hand That's pepper them. And so, and, but yes. some people on the other it's hand gang. And some people are it's, a, it's a totally different gang. It's a different market. Guys, so I feel like I feel well, that market like, sells. Yes, but you yeah. see, it sells. Some people, but the thing is, what you, level you of aspiration not. do you want to sell? You're so some people, people, some people, that's, some that's people, for me, my own aspiration has just been selling the fact that every day I'm given an opportunity to get good at my craft. Yeah. Like Kemi just said now, you know, when so, uh, 
thankfully I jumped on Instagram when it was only on the iPhone then. Thank God I just bought iPhone then, you know, and I had and and I could my friend was oh Instagram, Instagram. So and at that time I started getting into blogging food and I was writing for BN and all of that. And all my photographer friends would come over and they would know they they were used to shooting people, not food. So I would grab the camera with just the idea of what I want, I show them what I want. Then they started teaching me about things like light, um, shoot by the window, do like this. Then I knew food styling. Then they would teach me how to, I know how to use phone editing apps. So they started teaching me how to use those things. So social media was very good. And I've gotten, I keep saying that the customers that pay me money are not on social media, so to speak, but their kids are, their wives are. And I, I can tell you, I can tell you one of the biggest jobs I've gotten Oh, this the, the, the bride saw your food on Instagram, she really liked it. So people kind of send me screenshots and an email that we saw this on your page. What how much is this? Can you go? So if you look at my page now, I although sometimes I have to post maybe a photo of myself or something, I'm trying to say now, communicate that we're doing this for a party. We're doing this because if I'm just, you know No, but you're still selling. Yes, I'm just saying. So I'm just saying that. It depends on my values. I might struggle sometimes with my social media. Why? Am I going to sell myself today? But when Emirates is flying you out, will you tell Emirates, oh, I don't really feel like posting a picture of your plane. I'm just going to post a picture of, of, of my food. No, it has to be a mix and match. It's hard work sometimes to even do caption. Again, what is your value system? <laughs> you know, what is your value system? I could have, see, the hotel I stayed in, the cars that were picking me up, I could have given them just chilling, just rolling. Pepe but, it's, them, but it's not my value system. And some people, I would say, is just a place, people are coming from very different places. Yeah. I came, I didn't come from too much, but I came from enough to, to th so things like, I don't know, out of the blue, maybe a Range Rover I knew, Mercedes don't excite me. I've been seeing those kind of cars since, can you, not that my parents don't know, but uncles and aunties that have it, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are just some things that don't permit, but some people came from absolute zero, mm -hmm. yeah. and they did not have maybe a mother or a father to tell them that, in quotes, money is in everything, your value system is like this. So they've come, now what's their own? And people are like Kini, people want to blow. But what exactly is, you see, this is the thing, I, I can't stand people saying I came out of nothing, and that is why I haven't made it. No. Wait, no, 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 right, they've made no, no, it. I, I no, that's why they've made it. No, like, but hold like on. They've made it but this is the so thing. They think. So, I, I, I'm... No, hold on. I think what Shepard is trying to say... No, that's not what he's saying. Some people, and then, so because they feel... In, uh, uh, they were intimidated. Yeah, they've arrived. No, basically, social media, it's everybody looking for some level of validation. Yeah. Do you understand? So, that is the key word. It's how you now... Okay, let me give an example that... Um, for me, right, kind of like frames w what social, how social media interacts with, you know, your personal brand and your, 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 company, your company brand, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to gener generalize here. Let's say I own a recruitment agency for female ushers or for ushers. Which, of which a large proportion of them tend to be female. Let's leave that. You know, a, 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 a lot of them, a lot of them, a lot of them, you know, tend to be female. So I have my um, company brand, right? So you know, um, Edmond Ushers, and did, did they, they have my social media. No, Edmond Ushers, <laughs> and they have my social media page and 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 everything else, right? Now I have my own personal. Page and maybe somewhere along my social media page, it, it's been show, mentioned or it shows that I'm very prominent. Maybe yeah, or something like that. I'm very prominent as the owner of this um, um, Edmond Ushers, right? Now on my personal page, picture one, Edmond and naked girls. Picture two, Edmond and another set of naked girls. Picture three, Edmond in the private jet with naked girls. Picture of four, Edmond <laughs> hanging off the Range Rover with naked girls. Like, you must kind of like see that, okay, there might be some girl coming up in the industry and says, I want to be an usher. She now looks at that, looks at this, says, if I go there, is this what, is this what will happen? These girls, are they the ushers that work for him? Or are they, do you understand what I'm saying? They, people start to correlate things and it starts to affect, like, I could have the most amazing ushering company. Those girls have never been in my personal space. I don't even go to the office. Maybe I just do the this. But automatically it affects my own personal brand as the guy that does this. And it, and the company personally 
like from your personal life, can actually affect your business. Of course, yes. Of course. But so there was this. Okay, when Google came to Nigeria, when we ran. And so there's, there's, there's a point. There's a point. Wait, there's a point. Out, where, the, where there's a point. There's a, there's, a, there's a point I was trying to make. Right. So sorry. No. Is is what I what what I was trying to say is that. Yes, social media can be a reflection of our real life, right? But unfortunately, or rather fortunately, we have to curate our social media. You have to curate it. You cannot just be, I mean, the moment, I just want to take a picture. You get what I'm saying? Because there are a lot of people looking. Yeah, there are a lot of people looking from behind us. Do you understand what I'm saying? That are thinking, okay, you know, these guys are trying somehow, and we want to be like, there's so many things I want to say. There's so, you know, there, there, there's so many things I want to do for likes. You know, there's so many things I know that, no, it's true. On social media, there's so many things I want to do for likes. Like, I want to post a, a certain type of picture, and I know that if I do it, man, my likes will, but, no. But, but we, won't, we won't do that because it's not, it's not, it, no, no, not even about me being brought up, but it's not what I'm trying to ex express. You know, there are things I talk about when it regards to, you know, you know, misogyny and, and rape culture and everything. And I know he's only going to get me one like. I don't even want the like. You understand what I'm saying? But, but, but I, just need to, I just need to put it. I know it's going to affect my brand. I know guys are going to be like, I'm going to hang with that Jew guy. Because we don't want to be, we don't want to be slapping something. Edmund will not be the one that will. Yeah. Is the most important like of them all. Yeah, this whole fit farm thing, you know, I, I didn't come out with Simply Green for it to be a fit farm complaint. I came out with Simply Green to be a farm to table complaint where I want people to know where the food is growing from, not because it's, um, it's a fit farm food or it's making it lose weight or the juices make it lose weight. You know, I, I, I just thought, okay, it's very important for people to know how the food is grown and where it's grown. You know, so that was the story I was trying to um, so. sell. But then has well, the company benefited from this one? Oh, yeah, yeah. But that's the thing now. If someone has simple green juices, they just think, Detox, losing weight. It's a good stuff. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a good stuff, no, yeah. What, what I'm trying to say is like, so, uh, so my, my mom in Aba at the moment would think about going to Ariaria Market to buy um, oranges or go to mix them together. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. the idea of drinking Simply Green wouldn't naturally come to her. Because yeah. even when she comes so. to the house, there's no, I mean, there's no way you convince her that there's no what else what's our sugar, sugar added to whatever it is you're going to give to her but what i was saying about i know that simply green is not like a fit farm but it came out it's it, just like some nigerian musicians like somebody like uh what rooftop mcs i kind of feel like they came way before their time yes. like if, if they had come out now where a lot of nigerians want to be young christian and hip they will be a bank right so the same thing i'm saying about your mm. business came at the right time where the social yeah, media true. people want to eat healthy go to the gym and even if they're not eating, like, you know, even some people, like, you know, they say some people go to school later to get surgery, but also post pictures like they're eating healthy. Yeah. So it came at the right time. Yeah, so, true. Yeah. Um, yeah, yes. I, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, like, I, I think we actually came at the right time. And Simply Green is a company that benefited a lot from social media, I'll tell you. I mean, that's. That's basically my strongest tool. That's been what really took Simply Green out there. I also think the same thing will probably go for you as well. Yeah. I mean, I mean, social media, the, you know, your picture of your food has to look really good. And I mean, even when people are doing Fit Farm, yes. it works for me. So Chef Rex is an, indul is an indulgent brand anyway. So it's not something that I'm going to be eating every day. So people are like, we we'll drink, you know, we we'll do Fit Farm during the week and on the weekend. <laughs> You know, we we'll look for a reason what, to do a dinner what and what Do you think the fact that you're for a chosen few tends to limit you? You know, that's, sometimes I will say yes to that question. Sometimes I'll say no. Because sometimes your market is your market. My market may not be the whole world. I'm not, my, the, the products I sell is definitely not for, for a lot it's of a people. Niche, it's, a it's quite a niche market. But the but thing yeah. is, um, I'm learning that I have to take this niche to so many places then some time and take this niche to so many places then once you know that niche has gone so many places and i have okay let me explain it to you like this ralph lauren for example has like the ralph lauren store that is super pricey yeah, but you can still polo. but you can still buy a polo shirt of course so i so eventually chef Rex would i don't know diffuse i guess but um, at the moment right now it's still is the brand aspirational yes you know people people that won't book me are still on the, are still so on the page. So this is the next level. Wait, about, about this whole niche market thing, um, 
I discovered last year that there's a plane that comes into Nigeria. I don't know if you guys are aware. Well, you know. That comes into Nigeria with things like lettuce every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Lettuce, eggs. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. why if you go to any of these white stores Lebanese. on Thursdays, that's when they have the, um, like, the, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, the new stock. And I was thinking to myself that this Where did they bring it from? France, Belgium, and Boston. places. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself that, Shola, <laughs> this is a big market yeah. for you. Now, I'm not a mass market guy. I'm not trying to do a mass product. I'm trying to target a 1% market that has 90% of the money. I'm, 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 I'm doing less work. But yeah. now, okay. I, I, I saw a chance in the market. I, okay, there's a plane that brings in lettuce, leaves. Leaves need three things to grow. Sun, water, and soil. Three. <laughs> then you're flying it from another country. You're on reject. Landing it in my country. So I, I thought to myself, Shola, why are they bringing these things? Why can't why is it local farmers? Mm -hmm. And why farmers don't make money? It's because they're not adding value to it. Me and I said, okay, Shola, look at this white man zone. Try to do the same thing. Cut mine, wash it, bag it the same way they wash the bag it. So, Mine, as someone say, it's like a niche market. It's still going to spread. I'm going to take over ShopRite, which it's in the works now. Spa, we've just signed the spa. My, my plan was to go from a niche market now to go to a mass market. So, so like I said, like that niche market will yeah. yeah. actually spill out if you have a good product. Because we, we, and we, right now, we, we actually had a brand in hand a couple of minutes ago where we saw, we've seen the big one and suddenly they dropped. Yeah. Because as much as we understand that there's recession going on and times are hard, mm. we still want to be able to sell. So we tend to create something that fits, that fits that the fits. economy, if you understand what yeah. I mean. So for those of you who sell to niche, as in a specific kind of, the thing is, we are not, the country is not as flamboyant yeah, as it was. <laughs> to actually to raise enough money. Because yeah, you're actually you will. doing a 1% market, but, but you're making like 90% of the money. Because you cannot compete in a mass market. You're looking at people like, Dangote sugar. Can you do, can you compete with Dangote? Okay, that, that, so that, but that, you can that, actually, that, but that, you that, can that. actually get into a niche market where this mass people are not looking at and capitalize on that, and you you actually make so much more money. That's okay, a, that's a, that's sorry. In summary, question. what you've said is you tapped into the tastemakers, mm -hmm. and from the tastemakers you filter down to the into. mass market. So that's what social media does for you. 